high school sports return, golf will be the first sport to allow programs to face one another in competition, but that might not be the case at South Charleston High School. Jake Siegel explains why the Black Eagles might not return to the green this year. There may be no I in the word team, but Dylan Burford was the South Charleston High School golf team. Golf is an individual sport, but at you know this level it is a team sport because you know team score is counted. With just being one, I'd already lost every single match before I'd even played because we didn't have a team. Burford was the only player on the Black Eagles roster for the past two years, but he graduated in June. And with practice starting in a few weeks, he may well be the school's last golf team. We don't have any players that shown an interest. Um, they put the calls out probably four to five times already this summer. Uh, haven't had a call, haven't had an email, no contacts at school. This year doesn't look very good. So now the program is reaching out to try and put the sport back on the map. All we can do is ask. You know, there's nothing else, nothing else I know to do other than put it out there and try to get somebody out to play. Doesn't make a difference whether you've had any experience or not. We just need people out there to work with. It's a shame that you know nobody wants to play golf because it's one of those sports you know you can play forever. If you want to go out and play, you can. So I mean, for nobody to be um, wanting to play, it just you know it's a shame. A tradition Burford hopes can be revived in years to come. In South Charleston, Jake Siegel, 13 Sports, working for you. Now, if you're interested in joining the program, South Charleston head coach Roger Meadows will hold an info session at Big Bend Golf Course on August 17th at 1.30.